Hi there, it's Annie. I'm the marketing manager here at Outsourcing Angel and today I'll show you how to set up your social media schedule for 2022 and also how to outsource it to a social media virtual assistant. And don't worry, it'll be very easy because I'm giving you our free social media calendar template for 2022 and all you need to do is download it and follow my tutorial on how to use it and you can customize it for your business. Now a social media calendar is an overview of all of your upcoming social media posts and you usually share this with your marketing team or whoever's managing your marketing schedule and that could be a social media VA of course and it includes things like a calendar with important dates and events, your content themes, your posts and your captions, your hashtags and also things like location tags as well. But before we get started of course this is the time now for you to download our free social media calendar template which you can download at outsourcingangel.com forward slash calendar 2022 and once you download it I'll show you how to customize it and how to set up a workflow with your social media VA. Okay, so now that you've downloaded the social media calendar, you can see that it is in a Google Sheet format. And I do recommend Google Sheets, but of course you can download it and use it in Excel if that's what you prefer. And then you can see that each tab is separated into different months. So this is what the social media calendar template looks like. And as you can see here, it's filled out for basically the rest of the year. Over here, I actually have Outsourcing Angel social media schedule, which I'll be using as an example as well, because that's got things that are filled out already. This is the empty template that I provided for you and you'll see here that I've left notes around the sheet in red just to give you a little bit of a guide. The calendar is also filled with important dates like for example Valentine's Day, New York Fashion Week, things that might be relevant to your business. There's also retail sales events so things like after pay day that might be relevant for your business as well and of course popular hashtag days so April Fools and just fun hashtag events like National Siblings Day when you might want to do content around those. These are all different prompts to help you come up with a variety of content. At the end we've also got a content guide here and a hashtag and location list which I'll take you through how to use later. Some businesses may prefer to use a social media calendar tool like Later or Hootsuite and these tools are really great and we've used them before as well so they're really good options but just for us personally at Outsourcing Angel we find that we like to plan things months and months ahead and leave notes for things like special promotion periods and things that are happening in the company in internally and having a Google Sheet just makes that a lot easier and it's really easy to share it company-wide as well. Alright so let's show you how to set up your social media calendar because there is a little bit of back work that's involved in order to set this up and use it with a social media VA. The first thing you need to determine is what social media channel are you going to use this for? So this template can be used for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or whatever you like, but obviously there'll be differences in content for different platforms and also differences in things like the number of hashtags you use on Instagram versus Facebook, for example. So just figure out which platform you're using the social media calendar for and then you might want to duplicate that calendar for different things. So you'll have one for Facebook, one for Instagram, one for LinkedIn. If you have the resources to manage all of that, then create the social media calendar for that. Then step two involves filling out your content guide. And where you should start is to just list out your recurring content. All right, so here you can just head to the content guide tab and then fill out the list of recurring content here. And to give you an example for Outsourcing Angel, we have charity updates like once per month because we donate 10% of our company profits to charity initiatives. So every month we wanna include an update to our followers just so that they know what we've been doing in terms of the charity side of things and leave any notes there that might be relevant as well. So it's important to communicate with whoever's managing your calendar what type of recurring content they always need to include time slots for throughout the month. Now we go to step three, which is deciding on your content themes. If you head over to your content guide tab again, there is a section here called content themes, and this is where you list all your content ideas. So you'll see that there's different categories of content. Of course, you can change this to whatever you like, but we're just using the example from the Spin Factory here and splitting up content between like convince, inform, support, educate, entertain, and inspire. Now we filled out the convince section, but of course you can change this to whatever you need. 
And in the convince section, there's just different types of content that helps convince your audience that they need your product and service. So things like free trials, case studies, that kind of thing, just list all of those different ideas here. And how you actually use this later with your VA is for each month at the top section here, you'll see there's an area called themes and you essentially want to fill out the theme for the month and different days might have different themes. So for example, on Friday, you might want to inspire people and then you change this to inspire and your VA then will be able to go through your social media calendar when they're putting together posts for you, have a look at the theme reference up here at the top and see inspire and they'll go to the content guide and look at what's in your inspire list for them to pick and choose from. So obviously the table here will build up with content over time and then you'll chop and change it according to what works for your channel and what doesn't. But just to get started, it's a good idea just to list out the different types of content themes because it will also give your VA or whoever's managing your social media a well-rounded idea of the different types of content that you expect to have on your social media channels. Now, if you don't already know your content themes off the top of your head, we've included a content theme wheel here. I think it's a really good tool to help you brainstorm ideas and this is from the Spin Factory. And there's basically six different types of content themes that you can come up with for your social media calendar. And that includes inspiring content, convincing content, informative, supportive, educational and entertaining content. Now it might be a little bit hard to see it on your screen here. So let's zoom into one of them. So now we're looking at the convince section and your content ideas here include things like sharing your product reviews, customer testimonials, demonstrations, story of winning awards. Essentially you won't be using of course all the ideas in the wheel. It's just there to help you come up with some ideas and as you work with your social media VA they're going to keep building on this list as well so you've always got a point of reference. By the way, if you're loving this video so far and you're really needing a social media virtual assistant yourself, make sure you book in a free discovery call with our outsourcing specialist so that you can tell us all of your business needs and then we can help you find the perfect social media virtual assistant. Step four, decide on your post consistency. Now there's no one size fits all for every business. Um, a lot of businesses will upload between like three to seven posts per week. Uh, at Outsourcing Angel, we actually started with one post per day and that also includes the weekends. Then we realized over time that on the weekends when we were posting things, our audience just wasn't in that work mentality and it actually resulted in a lot of unfollows for our page. So we adjusted our schedule and we now post content for five days a week, which means that on the weekend slots, we just block out those slots so that nothing needs to be uploaded there. And it's actually worked really well for us. So initially you might wanna post a certain amount of times per week and then you can adjust it according to the results. But the most important thing to remember is to look at when your followers are online and make sure that you schedule the important content on the days when your followers are most online. But of course, if you don't have that many followers, then your data might be limited. So you can always take a look at your competitors and see how frequently they're posting to give you ideas as well. Next thing you need to remember is that it's always quality over quantity. So don't upload something just for the sake of saying you've uploaded a post that day. Make sure that whatever you're uploading on your social media pages is actually going to add value to the reader and get you more followers and engagement. Otherwise, it can really hinder your results. So make an assessment of your resources and the content that you're you're putting out there and make sure that it's quality over quantity. So once you've decided on your post frequency, just start blocking out the days of the week when you don't want your social media VA to create and schedule content for you. So how we do that in our outsourcing angel calendar is we just gray out those squares um, for the Saturday and Sundays that we don't post. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is to build your hashtag list. Now you want to click over to hashtag and location list here and you'll see that there's a section for your hashtag list. And this section, we've got the different types of content themes again, like entertain, educate, um, but there's also a section here called mandatory hashtags. So mandatory hashtags are basically the hashtags that you want your social media VA to use on all of your social media content. And um, we want to create two different versions of each type of hashtag list. And the reason why we do that is because your social media VA should be switching it up between like version one and version two, instead of copying and pasting the same list every time. Um, for best practices, it's better to switch it up. So we've got 
got two different versions and they might just have like slight differences. But you can see for mandatory hashtags, um, something that you should always include is your branded hashtags. So for us, hashtag outsourcing angel needs to be on all of our posts um, as well as these mandatory hashtags. And then um, fill out the hashtags for all your different types of content themes as well. If you're struggling to come up with your hashtag list, there are tools that you can use online like keywordtool.io and hashtagify. But these tools generally give you quite broad results. So if you're looking for more specific hashtags, then this can be a research task for your social media VA and they can look at niche specific hashtags, things that are trending and also your competitors and what they're using as well. Now, the next thing you need to do is research your location tags. And this is something that a lot of brands usually skip, but it can actually be very important for you to reach your audience. Now you want to go back to the hashtag and location list tab, and there's a section here for your location tags. So start creating a list of locations where like your business is located or where your business serves and um, split them up into the different tags here. And you'll be alternating back and forth between the different locations. So for example, at our Sourcing Angel, our head office is in Sydney, Australia, but we also know that our clients are from like Melbourne, Australia. We also have clients from like Auckland, New Zealand. And when you go to the social media schedule that's already filled out, in the location tag section here, it's already been filled out with the different locations we want to tag for different types of content. Um, so in the empty calendar template that we've created, there's a section here for location tags, um, and you can fill that out once you have a location tag list here. Now it's time to determine what time of the day you want to post your content. And you can do this by looking at your analytics once again, have a look at when your followers are most online. You can do this using Facebook Insights or Instagram analytics and it does break it down by hourly increments so you can see when your followers are most online and then you can schedule your content for those times. And when you've determined the time of day you want to post, that's when you can fill it out up here. That way, after your social media schedule is all approved by you, your social media VA can just go in here, look at the time of day they need to schedule it for what date and then mark it as scheduled when it's done to let you know that it's been uploaded. If you don't have any of that data yet, you can actually just use best practices. So for example, Hootsuite recommends that on Facebook, it's between 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. on weekdays to post things. And on Instagram, it's between 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Right, now the next step is to create design guidelines and examples for your social media VA so that they can get an idea of the look and feel and aesthetics that your brand is going for. So at Outsourcing Angel, we actually have our own social media style guide, which is like a separate document. And we update this with things like our social media colors, our fonts, um, what to do in terms of cartoons and graphics, what not to do. Um, if you don't already have something like this, then at a minimum um, in your social media calendar template, uh, in the content guide section, um, just leave at least some of the key design notes for your VA. You might want to include just the name of the color. If you have it, include the hex code as well, because that's really helpful. Um, especially if they're designing things in like Photoshop and Canva, you want to get the exact same shade. If you're not sure, then you can just um, take a screenshot of your brand colors here, and then they'll be able to do that for you. Um, also a link to your different fonts that you use across your different assets. Again, if you don't know, just put a screenshot there for reference, or you can ask the VA to use their creativity to come up with some ideas for you. Uh, and where possible, just have some design examples. So these can be things that you've designed in the past. It can be other assets that are not on social media, but you want to replicate that look and feel for your social media. Um, or it can be from another page and you just found something that you really like. Include that as an example as well. Uh, and have links to your logo files. So they need access to your high res logos. You can see here for our outsourcing angel for the different social media designs. Um, some of them have the full logo. Some of them just have this icon. So you need a variation of your logos. Upload that into a folder and then just have the link to it in your um, social media design notes here for your VA. Now you can use this section with your social media VA to give them some guidelines as to what kind of look and feel that you like. But if you really don't know and you're open to their creative direction, then obviously that's a task that you can give to your social media VA. They can come up with um, different types of examples of things that they would suggest for your page and you can work together from there. 
Now in your calendar, you also want to determine the type of posts that you want your VA to create for you. So in the social media calendar, there's a section here where it says like image, but you can change it to whatever you like. So for example, on one of the dates, we have video instead of image, or this could be like a carousel. It can be an IGTV, uh, whichever format you want your post to be in, make sure that you also include it here so that your VA is aware of what type of post that you need. So let me just show you what it looks like once it's filled out. So this is Outsourcing Angel's social media schedule for the month of June. And then you can see here, we've got the different types of posts. Um, there's like an image post, a video post, and these things actually click through to where we have the video or the image saved. So for us, we use Asana because we're assigning the um, graphic design to somebody in Asana. But obviously you can just link this directly to like the Canva link or whatever it is um, when you're ready. Now you've basically filled out all the important information that you need to pass over your social media to a VA. But the most important thing that you need to do now is establish a workflow before you pass it over to them. Let me give you an example of our workflow at Outsourcing Angel, which you could replicate for yourself. So first of all, the social media calendar template is filled out like one month in advance. So the marketing manager or whoever's looking after the planning of the content will have a look at the next month of social media posts and figure out the different content themes, the different types of content that they want, the recurring content, and also leave notes and information about promotional periods. Once this is ready, then we pass it over to a social media VA so that they can start organizing all the content. And we also give them a deadline on when that has to be completed as well. Now, of course, if you want your social media VA to do this first step themselves and actually plan out the content for you, then that's something that they can do as well. It's totally up to you. After this, your social media VA will have everything they need to start designing content. So they're going to design using things like Photoshop or Canva or just source different social media content online from other pages. Once they fill out this calendar with their designs, it will look something like this. This is our Outsourcing Angel one once again. And from here, they can write your captions. So they can just like right click here, insert note, and then write your caption here. Um, and then head over to your hashtag list and copy and paste the appropriate hashtag list for that caption as well. And they'll do that for all of the posts in the month. Um, they'll also fill out what type of post it is or maybe you filled that out already so that's up to you um, and link to that particular design so you can review it um, there's also the location tag there for you so then everything will be ready for you to review the only difference is that this will be um, status as not scheduled at the moment this is all scheduled because we've already scheduled all these posts um, but they'll actually just leave it here as not scheduled for you to review and approve and once you have a look at everything and you're happy with it it, you can go through and give them the green light and then they can then schedule that onto um, Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn, wherever you need and mark this as scheduled when it's done. So the awesome thing about using a calendar like this is um, first of all, you can see how the content flows next to each other. And for us, it's important that everything looks consistent, but also that the posts aren't too similar. So sometimes we might have a look at our calendar and be like, okay, those two posts are very, very similar in design. Um, we actually need to change the design or schedule this elsewhere. Um, so it's a very good overview of what your content looks like next to each other, which is quite important for a platform like Instagram, maybe not as important for Facebook, um, but it's still good to have a variety. You don't want to be repeating too many things. Um, and the other great thing about having this Google Sheet is that you can actually leave tasks in here. So if your social media VA wants you to review something, they can actually like hop in here and then um, leave a comment like this and just type in your name and say, can you please review this post? and assign it to that person and then that they will get notified through email. And once you've established the workflow and you're really happy with it, I highly recommend just recording like a tutorial video or listing down the steps of the process and saving it somewhere so you have this for reference later. You can actually just save it into the Google Sheet itself, but we use a system called System Hub here. So this is what our System Hub dashboard looks like. And there's different folders for different departments. In marketing, for example, there's a social media section. And here you can click on any of these to get instructions on 
how to do things, that there's notes with things that you should know before you start, um, different techniques, and then sometimes there'll be a link to a tutorial video as well. So uh, listing out all of your processes like this is really useful because if we want to share this with someone, then we can just share the link to this process here and then they can read through it and test it out themselves. You'll also need to share important information with your VA, like login details for your different social media channels and tools like Canva. Um, and then of course, make sure you set up a social media report as well, just so that you can track your performance and see how you're going. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to set up your social media schedule for 2022 and also how to outsource it to a social media VA. If you are looking for a social media virtual assistant yourself, make sure you head to this link here and book in a free discovery call with our outsourcing specialist just tell her all of your business needs and we'll be able to find the perfect social media virtual assistant for you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy our other video, which is three steps on outsourcing to your Instagram virtual assistant. And that was filmed by our CEO and founder, Lynn Pedetti. So make sure you check that out. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.